Hi, Don. Hi, Steve. Pleasure nice meeting you. Come on in. Have a seat. Thank you. What can I do you for? Don, um, I'm here because people in the organization have told me that you're really good at changing light bulb okay. sockets. Okay. And I'm working with a group of people and we're putting together training to help others change the light bulbs like you do. Okay. So I'm here to get some time with you and the idea would be to come up with a list that I can create that can help others change light bulbs like you. Okay. And then we'll use that in the training we're producing. Is okay. Cool. Sure. I can help you with that. Then uh, what I'd like to do is to start off by getting a big picture of how this works, and then uh, we're going to spend some time with you showing me how you actually do the voodoo that you do. It's a simple process. There's really two or three steps. You've got to pull the old socket out, disconnect the wires, I guess four steps. Uh, reconnect the wires and put the socket back in. And that's really it. Cool. Um, I'd like to start a little bit uh, before that. What happens on the job that tells you you need to change a socket? How do you know? Well, I guess probably the most common thing that happens is um, the light doesn't work. And when you change the bulb, when you put a new bulb in, a bulb that you know works, the light still doesn't work. So if you know the bulb works, then it's probably something wrong with the socket. Okay. How often do you need to do this? Oh, lamps are pretty reliable, so I don't know that it happens all that often. These days, a lot of less expensive lamp, lamps, people are inclined to throw them away anyway. And what they sometimes don't understand is that they think they can, they can buy a new lamp for less money than replacing the socket. That's not really true. It's, it's probably easier to buy a new lamp, but it would be cheaper to replace the socket. And you said this wasn't really hard to do. How hard is it relative to other things that you do? Is it one of the easiest things you do? Yeah, there's really only a, a couple of things that you really have to um, kind of get right. Um, there's not a whole lot to worry about. It's a, it's a pretty simple process. What happens if they don't get changed? Uh, if the socket doesn't get changed? Right. Well, then you've got a lamp that doesn't work. Is there a fire dam danger or anything like that? Um, not usually at the, I suppose it's possible, but not usually at the socket. The, the fire damage is going to, is going to, the, the, the greater fire risk is going to be if the plug uh, on the other end of the wire uh, is bad. The plug that goes into the wall, okay. um, that's more, that's the, that's the more likely fire risk if there's a problem on that end. All right. Um, I was wondering if uh, you might be able to show me how you change a lights, light socket then. Do you have one? I just, <laughs> just happen to have one sitting right here. Imagine that. So you're talking about this kind of lamp. Fairly simple, straightforward mm -hmm. lamp. Okay. And a lamp socket. Okay. So this is the kind of thing that we work with. And really all you need to do it is a screwdriver. Sometimes a pair of screwdrivers, it depends on what kind of screws um, uh, the socket, particular socket uses. Okay, so I need uh, screwdrivers, I need a lamp, and I need a replacement socket. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to take me through the process? Sure. You just want me to just do this? Yeah. Okay. Probably gonna, you know, stop you as you go along a little bit, just to make sure I can get this as you're doing it. Okay. And when I'm done, I'll let you see what I've written up, and then uh, we can make any changes. Okay. Fair enough. So you've done two things already. One, you kind of looked at the lamp socket, and the other thing you did was take the top of it off, right? Yep. 
And the thing I was looking for is, if you look real closely here, you can see the word press. Oh, okay. So I was looking for that spot. And so you've taken the uh, top off? Mm -hmm. The socket cover. Okay. And what are you doing now? I'm going to detach these two wires. There's a, there's a wire attached to a screw on either side of the socket. How did you know to use that screwdriver and not the other one? The screw is a slotted screw as opposed to a Phillips head screw. So you remove the, the screws or do you just open the no, screws? Just open the screws and just pull the socket off. Once you open the screws though, don't you? Do you just pull the socket off and the wires just stay there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the wires are connected to, I mean, the, the, the wires attached to the socket are connected to the wire. Okay. So you've opened up the new, uh, you've opened up the replacement? Mm -hmm. And here it looks like uh, you had to make a choice again about which of those screwdrivers to use. Um, actually on this socket I could have used either because this has a screw, this new socket has a screw on it that allows either a, a flathead screwdriver or a Phillips screwdriver. That's true. Do you uh, always use that kind of a replacement socket or do you use a variety of replacement sockets? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, but if you're going to, let's say you're replacing the socket with one that only has a uh, flathead screw, would you need a flathead screwdriver? Oh, if, if the new socket only has a flathead screw? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Most of them are like this, though, that allow for either. So the new replacement ones really are, don't need, don't require you to make a decision. Generally speaking, that's true for the new sockets. Yeah. Okay, so you're pulling the wires out. What are you doing now? I'm going to twist them a little bit so that they're a little easier to work with. So you length lengthen that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just pulled it out from the bottom a little bit so that there's a little more wire sticking out the, the top of the lamp. So now you're you're unscrewing the screws on the socket. Mm -hmm. So that I can reattach the wire. And then you wrap the wire around them. Mm -hmm. Hold on before you do the next one so I can make sure I've got it. So you unscrew the socket screws, you wrap the wire around the, what, the screw post? How, what do you call that? Screw post is fine. Then you tighten the screw? And tighten the screw. And then do the same thing with the other one. And I can put this back on. So that's the replacement uh, socket cover? Yeah. Although I can put 
with the old cover on. The cover isn't, isn't what matters, it's the socket that matters. But I'll put the new one on. I paid for a new one, might as well use a new one. And jam this all back down. again switch it say back to the other one just sure. so I can start testing what I've written okay and let's see let me earlier you told me that basically there are four parts of this I need to uh, uh, remove the old socket and then connect the new socket right and you mm -hmm. said it was pull it out disconnect reconnect replace it mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to try to map those against the list I've got because I've got a list with a lot of things in it. Okay. Lists are easier if I can get them down to smaller sizes. Okay. All right, so first let's do this again. You're going to look at it and you're trying to find the. Is there one spot or two spots that say press? Just one. Okay. So on this one, it's right there. Okay. This one isn't as easy as the other one. Okay. And then you actually, when instead of taking it off, what you really do is pull the socket away from the light. Pull the socket away from the, the base of the socket. Well, I guess it sort of happened at the same time. I've been pulling the socket cover off because there's some slack in the wire, but uh, the socket itself sort of mm -hmm. pops up. Okay. And then, so the next, so that was pulling the cover off, so the next step was to disconnect the wires. And so that's where you may have to make a decision about what screwdriver to use. And once I've disconnected the wires, I can pull the old socket through and set it aside. And then it's time to connect the new socket. Twisting the, twisting the wires. <coughs> you could have pulled out the wires, but only if necessary. Right. Would you? You wouldn't pull out the wires before you did anything else, would you? You only pull out the wires when you you've actually got the socket off and you're looking at reconnecting the other one, and you'd only do that if you needed to. Yeah, that's the only time it becomes important. Is to just give myself a little. It's just a little easier to work with a wire here that's a little bit longer. Okay. And then it's just a matter of reconnecting these wires. So you pulled out the wires if they were necessary. You twisted them. You unscrewed. The replacement. Got the wires around the post. Now you're tightening the screw it down. And then you're going to repeat this from the other side. The other side. Make sure that the screw is actually out far enough so that I can wrap the wire. Is there any way you can unscrew them so much that the screw falls out? Um, or do they stop on their own? You'd have to unscrew it quite a bit, but it's possible you can you can unscrew it. So when you unscrew them, you just unscrew them a few twists, or just enough for the wire to go in. A little extra than that, I might un, um, 
I might go a turn or two beyond what's minimally um, required to get the wire in because, that, again, that makes it a little easier to work with, a little easier to get the wire wrapped around the, the, the terminal. Now, you just called it a terminal. Earlier we were calling it a post. Is there a better word? Is one of those better than the other? I don't think so. If we just called it a post, would it be okay? Be okay with me. Short words are better than long ones. This is good. Uh, what I'd like to do next is to get a camera mm -hmm. and go through this with you step by step. Okay. Uh, that's going to take another few minutes as you do this, and then uh, what I'll do is disappear, and if you don't mind, I'll come back uh, tomorrow, and what I'll have is a list of what I think you did. Okay. And I'm going to ask you to do the same thing uh, again so I can check my list, and then I'm going to ask you to check the list. It's kind of a detailed process, isn't it? When people get really good at something, it's always a little more detailed than they think. Because one of the things that happens when you get good at something is you're able to do it without thinking about it a lot. Okay. And to help other people do it like you, we've got to get all the details that you're able to do without thinking about them a lot. Okay. And then what we're going to do is once this list is working for you and me, mm -hmm. we're going to give it to somebody who's never changed a light bulb before. We're going to test it. I'm going to test it. Make sure they unplug it first. That's a good idea, isn't it? <laughs> well, it, it's, it's probably not a good idea to have folks that have never done this before messing around with lamps that are plugged in, lamps that are plugged in. All right. And so the first step is unplug the light. Well, this one happened to be unplugged, but to make sure that, it, that it's unplugged. Uh, now let's get back to the fact that we're going to give this list to uh, people who've never changed a light before. Mm -hmm. Aside from unplugging the light, is there anything else that they need to do? Nothing I can think of. I mean, uh, they've got to get the, the lamp to kind of this condition, which means taking off the lampshade and, and unscrewing the light bulb. Although I suppose they could do this with a light bulb in it. Would you want them to? Mm. Would you do it? No, it's easier to do it without a light bulb. All right, so it sounds like there's some things that you do before you uh, pull off the socket cover. You've got to unplug the light, you've got to take off the lamp shade, you've got to unplug. Okay. Yeah, and the other thing is to make sure that I've got the same kind of light socket, the same kind of socket um, as a replacement. How do you do that? Well, you just look at the light socket. So this has a, this is a, a push button light socket. So. What I want to do is replace this with another push button light socket. Now, earlier, the uh, other replacement uh, light socket, is that another uh, push button? No, this is a turn. It, uh, so you could change them, mm -hmm. but is it that a the turn one only goes on off, mm -hmm. and the push button is only on off. Right. What if uh, you needed to change the socket so it was a three-way light? Well, I'm not sure you can make that kind of change. There's, there's some different wiring involved. So the thing to do is, if you've got an off-on lamp, to make sure that you have a straight off-on socket. And so this is a list that's going to help people change from one off-on socket to another off-on socket. Sure.
And if, if, if people are unsure what they can do is they can remove the socket mm -hmm. before buying the replacement part, take the socket into their local hardware store, and essentially say to the folks in the hardware store, I want to replace this, and the folks in the hardware store will give them a, another one of those, a new one of those, that exactly matches the socket they took off. It's a good thing about hardware stores. This is great. Uh, have we missed anything else for someone who's never done this before? Not that I can think of. If somebody had done this a lot, is there anything you'd want to remind them of? Someone has done this a lot. Sometimes we get good at things and we make assumptions. Sometimes we get good at things and we make we might get a little sloppy. It doesn't happen with everything. I don't know if it happens with uh, changing a light so a lamp socket or not. Well, the only other thing that I can remember is that that um, um, someone who's never done this before might have a question about which wire to connect to which post. And the answer is it doesn't matter. So that's good. If it doesn't matter, then we don't need to teach, we don't need to address that. But maybe we want to tell them it doesn't matter which one you attach. It's a question that, that might come up. So uh, it doesn't matter which wire you first connect to the post? Well, it doesn't, it, not only does it not matter which order you connect them, it doesn't matter which wire you, you connect to which post. I've got enough now to begin writing this up and to come back shortly with the camera. Okay. And as I mentioned, uh, I'll uh, take some pictures and test what I've got and then uh, integrate them and come back again. And I wanted to thank you for your patience with this process. You're very welcome. Thank you. Sure. I'll see you soon. Okay.